Moses Lake Air Show guests waited to see a local stuntman attempt a world record motorcycle jump. June 17th, 2021, Alex Harville, ready to defy gravity and set a world record live on YouTube, would speed up the ramp set up at Moses Lake Air Show. But what happened next left everyone speechless. June 17th, 2021, Daredevil Alex Harville was set to perform this daring ramp jump at Moses Lake Air Show in Washington, aiming to shatter a 351-foot record held by Robbie Madison since 2008. However, everything about this was wrong. September 11th, 1992 was the birth date of Alex Harville, the Daredevil motorcycle rider and YouTuber. Alex's passion for riding bikes began at just four years old, and he went on to become a professional motocross and supercross racer. He actively competed in the American Motorcyclist Association Series and Canadian Pro Motocross Series, showcasing his skills and determination. May 12th, 2012, Harvell made history, setting a Guinness World Record for the longest ramp to dirt motorcycle jump, soaring an impressive 425 feet at Toes MX Park in Royal City, Washington. July 6th, 2013, he continues pushing the boundary, setting another record for the longest dirt-to-dirt -dirt motorcycle ramp jump, covering 297.55 feet at the Horn Rapids Motorsports Complex in West Richland, Washington. In April 2017, Alex's practice session at Talladega Super Speedway took a dramatic turn when he would launch into a ramp-to-ramp -ramp jump with immense speed, overshooting the landing. He landed with tremendous force, causing his front tire to explode and sending him flying over the handlebars. Harville hit the ground with a crushing impact, breaking one of his heels. It was this injury that forced the cancellation of his attempt for a world record, which was scheduled to take place during the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series race at the same venue. However, more tragedy was to come, and this was only the beginning. June 17th, 2021, Alex was poised to make history at the Moses Lake Air Show, attempting to shatter Madison's 351-foot record set in 2008. This daring jump would span the length of a football field from goalpost to goalpost. However, during a practice jump, Harville's bike crashed into the dirt landing ramp's edge, sending him flying 20 feet and ejecting him from his helmet. A news crew from Krem in Spokane, Washington captured the tragic incident on film but chose not to broadcast it out of respect. Medical personnel rushed to the scene, and an emergency medical technician reached Harville within two and a half minutes. But despite the quick help that came, he sadly succumbed to his injuries on the way to the hospital. Lim Ji Hai. <laughs> June 11th, 2023, South Korean YouTuber Lim Ji Hai, alias BJ Imvili, sat in solitude at her home, tearfully expressing her emotions to her followers in a live stream. Although she recorded her conclusion in good spirits, that wasn't the end of her story. You see, Lim here was a model and a streamer captivating audiences in the early 2000s. She would go through many careers. In 2006, she would zoom into the racing model circuit, bringing her charisma to the scene, and Lim would then lend her talents to Road FC, a prestigious Korean mixed martial arts organization, where she would thrive as a match girl. In 2014, she took a break and focused on her marriage. However, after a divorce four years later, she came back into the world of modeling and streaming, this time under the stage name BJ Invali. Lim wasn't just a model, she was a captivating presence across different entertainment avenues. In 2012, she revved the racing model scene collaborating with Team EXR, and by the next year, her charisma continued to shine in the Seoul Auto Show, where she represented Ulim Motors. She would even find herself acting at one point, landing a role in the film Sunflower back in 2006. However, 2019 was when she truly found her stride as a streamer. Once again, captivating audiences both on YouTube and Africa TV. All seemed well and good for Lim Ji Hai until the unexpected happened. June 11th, 2023, Lim joined a live stream event with a group of streamers. The mood initially seemed upbeat. Everyone was enjoying themselves and having drinks. 
However, the atmosphere shifted dramatically when Lim became involved in this argument with this other young woman during the broadcast. Just a few hours later, back in the privacy of her own home, Lim went live one final time. Jihai's final live stream on YouTube was a heartbreaking affair. Tears streamed down her face as she poured out her emotions to her fans. She offered apologies to her family, a gesture that sent chills through her viewers. Then, in a move that left everyone stunned, she displayed a copy of her will. Before disappearing from the screen, her voice choked with emotion, and she uttered these haunting words. <laughs> Meaning, I feel sorry for my girls, and I hope I won't feel guilty living my life in the future. These desperate pleas were punctuated by a flurry of calls on her cell phone, by concerned friends reaching out in a last-ditch effort to connect. Alerted by concerned viewers, paramedics rushed to the scene, arriving minutes later and immediately stopping the broadcast. Found in critical condition, the young woman had apparently taken a drastic step. Media reported that Lim had tried to take her own life, but the act left her unconscious and in need of intensive care after suffering two cardiac arrests. Despite the valiant efforts, Lim tragically passed away. June 19, 2023. The news was confirmed by an obituary posted on her Gram account. Meanwhile, police launched an investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death, including the possibility of external influence on her actions. Actions. Lim left behind two young daughters, her parents, and two brothers. Colton Gibson Wood He exclaimed that his front brakes were out. He began to panic. September 25th, 2017. Colton Gibson Wood, aka Twisted Intentions, was live streaming on his YouTube channel as he was weaving through traffic on Highway 290 on his motorbike. What followed this was as shocking as it was unexpected. Colton Gibson Wood was born in Hagerstown, Maryland. He would come from humble beginnings, living a fairly normal life until his professional path led him to BMW, where he left a legacy. Colton was a gaming YouTuber, known by his alias Twisted Intentions, and despite his modest following of around 3,000 subscribers, Colton was passionate about his channel. His content was mostly about streaming video games, more specifically titles like The Division. However, he injected some diversity into this by occasionally streaming exciting motorcycle rides throughout town. While initially his videos struggled to attract significant attention, there was a noticeable upward trend in his view counts, gradually growing from mere hundreds to thousands. September 25th, 2017, amidst one of his routine motorcycle streams, Colton engaged with his loyal fan base, blending conversation with his adventurous journey. Midway through the stream, his fans witnessed a concerning development. Colton's realization that his front brakes had malfunctioned. In a moment of panic, he talked about what was happening and made a bold declaration that something extraordinary was about to happen. He continued to accelerate down the road at breakneck speed, exhibiting extreme recklessness, leaving viewers questioning his intentions. His final admonition, don't be foolish on these bikes, could be heard just before the stream abruptly concluded with a loud crash. As the video vanished from YouTube, his followers grasped the severity of the situation, realizing it was more than just a minor mishap. Their fears became reality when Spartanburg County Coroner disclosed the identity of the motorcycle accident victim. Tragically, the collision ensued between Wood's motorcycle traveling eastward and a pickup truck heading west, as the latter turned left without yielding. The impact forced Wood off the vehicle, resulting in severe injuries when he hit the pavement. Despite wearing a helmet, he succumbed to his wounds shortly after being rushed to the hospital. Meanwhile, the pickup driver was unscathed, but faced legal repercussions for failure to yield. This harrowing incident points out to the importance of road safety and vigilance for all motorists. Alongside his mom and stepfather, Wood leaves behind cherished memories with his dear friend, Stephanie Gonzalez. His familial bonds extended to his devoted sisters, Ashley Stevens and Brittany Henry. Devraj Patel Hello, friends. Good morning. Yaar, bhai, mere video mein galat comment mat kijiye yaar. Arey bhai, bhai samajh ke bol raha hu yaar. June 26, 2023, YouTuber and internet comedian Devraj Patel was live streaming while on a motorcycle trip back home after filming a video in Navarapur. But when his motorcycle handle hit an oncoming truck, everything changed. 2001, Patel was born in a village of Dab Pali, Chahatisgari district of Mahasamund. Growing up amidst the rustic charm of his village, he imbibed the values of hard work and perseverance. By 2021, he found himself 
residing in the bustling city of Korba, where he pursued his graduate studies with passion and dedication. Despite the transition from rural quietness to urban bustle, Devraj remained rooted in his upbringing, carrying the essence of his village wherever he went. His mother was Gauri Patel. She was a dedicated housewife who tended their home. Devraj's father was Ganshyam Patel, who cultivated their lands as an agriculturalist. Hemant Patel, Devraj's brother, stands alongside their sister as the remaining members of the Patel family. When Devraj embarked on his content creation journey venturing into YouTube and Instagram, it prompted his relocation to Rapur. There he unleashed several captivating videos, memes and reels, grabbing the hearts of millions nationwide. In 2020, he created the Dil Sebura Lagta Hai, Devraj Patel official, YouTube channel, swiftly amassing 450,000 subscribers by 2023. His innovative approach and engaging content resonated deeply with his viewers, establishing him as a prominent figure in the digital realm. With each upload, he continued to inspire and entertain and connect with his ever-growing audience. 2021, Devraj released a video featuring the now famous line, Dil Sebura Lakta Habai, meaning in English, I feel bad from the heart brother, while confronting negative feedback on his channel head on. This moment catapulted him to online stardom, instantly captivating the public. To date, the video has gained a staggering 1.9 million views, which solidified his status as a digital sensation. Now, additionally, he secured a role in his esteemed video series, Dindora, crafted by renowned YouTube. YouTuber Buyan Bam in the same year. His growing fame opened doors to remarkable encounters, including a memorable meeting with the Chief Minister Bupesh Bagel, leading to a collaborative video that went viral. In June 26, 2023, Devraj had just wrapped up a video shoot somewhere deep in Navarapur. Hopping on the back of his friend's motorcycle, they set off, eager to get home and share the footage with his audience. But along the highway, a split second shattered everything. The motorbike's handle clipped an oncoming vehicle, a jolt ripping Devraj from the back. He tumbled through the air, landing hard on the asphalt. His friend, very injured, was more than lucky to survive. Devraj, however, wouldn't be so fortunate. He died on the spot. Just hours before the accident, Devraj had shared an update video on his Instagram page, totally unaware of what was coming. YouTube may have redacted the video that was streamed on the day of his death, but Devraj's other videos continue to show his talent, even though he's gone. Shwai Baslam. Can I can hear? Hello? You guys hear me? Do this. You guys ready? Please have on do the right thing. March 14th, 2018, Aslam engaged with his friends, exchanging in a series of texts before initiating a call. During the conversation, he told them to commence recording, and this is when it all went south. Shwaib Shwaibi Aslam, known by his YouTube alias, ZL0, was a native of Pakistan who spent his teenage years in the United States. Interestingly, he launched his YouTube channel when he was just 11. At that young age, Aslam was already battling depression and only found solace in watching anime stating it was his lifeline. Described by some as someone who faced difficulty with forming social connections, Aslam also wrestled with disturbing thoughts of committing a school shooting. And while these urges eventually subsided, they irreparably damaged the trust between Aslam and his parents. With all the recent emotional decline, Aslam acquired a gun. While no one could explain how he got it, it was a dangerous situation his parents did nothing to rectify. On March 14th, 2018, Aslam would get in touch with some friends. He texted them and then called, asking if they can all hear him and to record the conversation. While all his friends agreed, one of them sensed that something was terribly wrong here. He continually begged Aslam to not harm himself. On the other hand, someone else on this conference call thought that he was joking due to his casual tone and occasional laughter. Unfortunately, he was not. Despite his friends' pleas to reconsider, Aslam had made up his mind. In fact, he had already written two notes one referencing an online community he frequented, and another addressing his mother. Shortly after writing his last notes, Aslam went on a live stream on YouTube. He initially gave it the title, It's Time, but technical issues stopped the stream after 20 seconds. He started another stream, Hey, which lasted 49 minutes and 42 seconds before being taken down, likely due to YouTube's terms of service violations. Aslam appeared on camera wearing a distinctive outfit and displayed a gun, indicating he still owned it despite his parents' distrust. The live stream ended in tragedy with a gunshot. The incident was witnessed by his friends and later his mother, who discovered his body. Mike Hughes
February 22, 2020. Mr. Hughes was going to make history with a homemade rocket he was piloting. However, the excitement and anticipation quickly turned tragic. February 9, 1956. Michael Mad Mike Hughes, the daredevil and self-taught inventor, was welcomed into this world. He spent his childhood in Oklahoma City, developing a passion for motorcycle racing. Not long after this, Mad Mike would become a limousine driver and a YouTube personality, gaining notoriety for his beliefs as a flat earther. In 2002, living alone in Apple Valley, California, Hughes would make headlines, setting a Guinness World Record with a death-defying 103-foot jump in a Lincoln Town Car Stretch Limousine. In 2018, in this interview with Associated Press, he boldly announced his plans to run for Governor of California. Back in 2016, Michael Hughes embarked on a fundraising campaign for a rocket, but it fizzled out, raising a mere $310. However, after telling everyone he was a flat earther, he gained traction with the community and successfully reached $7,875 for his fundraising goal. Now, Hughes boldly announced his plans to embark on multiple rocket journeys, culminating in a flight to outer space, where he aimed to capture a photo of the entire Earth as a flat disk. Despite facing opposition from the Bureau of Land Management and the Federal Aviation Administration, Hughes remained defiant, stating, I'm a daredevil. I'm not much for authority or rules. He rescheduled his launch multiple times, although determined to push forward with his mission. Michael Hughes's untested rocket was designed to reach a thrilling speed of 500 miles per hour, with a subsequent launch from a balloon 20 miles up aiming to pierce the atmosphere and enter outer space. Acknowledging those risks, Hughes told the Associated Press, It's scary as hell, but none of us are getting out of this world alive. February 3rd, 2018. Despite a failed fundraising campaign, Hughes still persisted. He live-streamed another attempt, but this time, the rocket's steam release malfunctioned, which aborted the launch. March 24th, 2018, and still undeterred, Hughes successfully launches his rocket soaring 1,875 feet, landing with a thud in the Mojave Desert. This man reached a max speed of 350 miles an hour. Hughes was lucky enough to come out of that with no serious injuries. One year later, this man still wasn't done with his launches. August 10th, 2019. The YouTuber was determined to launch himself in that rocket, but a mechanical issue forced a postponement. The launch was delayed again the next weekend because Hughes had to be treated for heat exhaustion. Daredevil Mad Mike Hughes died after his homemade rocket crash shortly after takeoff near Barstow. February 22, 2020 was the day everything came crashing down. Hughes was piloting one of his numerous inventions near Barstow, California. This was another rocket he had built along with the Waldo Stakes. And as he was about to take off, the rocket's parachute deployed prematurely, detaching from the craft. One of the witnesses, Justin Chapman, described the rocket scraping against the launch apparatus, which was what possibly caused the parachutes to tear and deploy. This launch was being filmed for the Science Channel series, Homemade Astronauts which Hughes was set to star in. Unfortunately, Mad Mike didn't make it out of this accident, as he died shortly after. Remy Lucidy July 29th, 2023. Remy decided to practice his rooftopping skills with an unsecured climb of the Tregunter Towers in Hong Kong. This was nothing out of the ordinary for Remy. Little did he know it was going to be anything but ordinary. Remy Lucidi was another rooftopper, eagerly participating in dangerous climbs. His go-to activities were to go on journeys conquering the most outstanding heights around the world. Born in Montpellier, France, he would later find himself in Hong Kong, where his passion for exploration intensified. Lucidi always had a keen eye for photography, so he documented his death-defying escapades and shared them across social media, which helped him amass a handful of followers. 2016 would be a very busy year for him. He would push the boundaries climbing scaled cranes, bridges, and even a Ferris wheel. By 2022, Remy climbed iconic skyscrapers in Dubai, Bulgaria, and France, capturing his daring stunts in pictures and videos. By October 2022, one social media post captured his daring climb up France's tallest chimney, where he casually strolled around a 300-meter high structure's edge without any safety gear. July 17th, 2023, Remy Lucidi checked into Tim Sha Sui Hostel in Hong Kong. He told the hostel staff that he was on holiday. How could they know he was about to climb unaided around the Tragunta Tower? 
July 29th, 2023. At exactly 6 p.m., Remy allegedly entered the prestigious Tregunter Tower in Hong Kong's upscale mid-levels district, claiming to visit a friend on the 40th floor. Before the security guard could verify this, Lucidi swiftly entered the elevator. CCTV picks him up exiting the 49th floor and ascending the stairs to the top, where he forced open a door. This man was spotted knocking on a penthouse window on the 68th floor, desperately seeking help before losing his footing. Lucidi was later found by a maid who wasted no time in alerting the police after witnessing the 30-year-old's distress. Unfortunately, before authorities could reach him, he was already dead, and his lifeless body was found on a patio in the area, along with Lucidi's sports camera and French ID card. Remy had plummeted 721 feet and died. Wu Yangying November 8th, 2017. Wu here, another YouTube daredevil rooftopper, was showing off his skills doing pull-ups at the top of Hua Yan International Center in Changsha, China. All seemed to be going peachy until the unexpected happened. April 10th, 1991. Young Ying was born to proud parents in Changsha, China, where he spent his childhood exploring the city and developing a taste for adventure. This continued as he attended a local high school in China. Now, his passion for stuntmanship and rooftopping led him to start a career as a hobby, but after sharing his death-defying feats on social media, he would gain widespread recognition and would turn his hobby into a full-time profession. As a skilled stuntman, he would captivate global audiences. Wu shared his life with his longtime girlfriend, Jin Jin, who supported his daring endeavors. So Wu was a 26-year-old Chinese daredevil, making a name for himself by performing these heart-stopping stunts, sharing them with his vast online following, and earning a living through his viral videos. The thrill-seeker's death-defying feats, including hanging dangerously from towering buildings and structures, would garner lucrative sponsorship deals and earn him the nickname Chinese Superman. A pioneer of the rooftopping movement in China, Wu's fearless exploits captivated millions, cementing his reputation as a social media sensation. The Chinese daredevil had a death-defying goal, to conquer the world's high-rise buildings without any safety gear. An investigation revealed that he had posted over 500 thrilling short videos and live streams, raking in at least 62,000 pounds from sharing his heart-stopping clips. With a pension for capturing his exploits on camera, he filmed all his daredevil stunts and shared it with his followers. Obviously, his fearless antics earned him a massive following. On November 8th, 2017, Wu was on the brink of stardom with his next viral video, sponsored by an unnamed sponsor who offered him 11,300 pounds. Now, he was recording his latest stunt, clinging to the side of the Huayuan International Center in central China, when tragedy would strike. Wu planned to propose to his girlfriend the next day, and used the earnings to fund his wedding and his ailing mother's medical treatment. With a daring gleam in his eye, Wu lowered himself over the edge of the building's rooftop. It was at this point he lost his grip and plummeted over the side. As he fell, he desperately struggled to grab hold of something, but Wu fell 45 feet onto the terrace below. A window cleaner going about his day discovered his body on the ground and quickly called for help. Even though the man was rushed to the hospital, Wu eventually succumbed to his injuries. Uli Gegenschatz <laughs> November 11th, 2009, Uli was performing a stunt for Red Bull. As soon as he leapt off the Sunrise Tower, it turned into a different ball game. Gegenschatz was a Swiss thrill seeker, dominating the world of base jumping, paragliding, skydiving, and setting multiple records. In 1989, Uli took his first parachute leap during a military preliminary course for long-distance scouts. Although he didn't become a scout, he remained passionate about jumping, and in 1990, he would make his first paragliding flight and quickly rose through the ranks as an amateur, joining the extended world elite. By the mid-90s, his passion for jumping was also reignited. Take 1997, where he achieved a remarkable milestone, making his first object jump from a towering 1,000-meter high rock face in Norway. And as a member of the Swiss national paragliding team for four years, he would showcase exceptional skills. In 1995, he co-founded the esteemed Red Bull Acro team, further solidifying his reputation as a pioneer in extreme sports. 
His base jumping accomplishments are nothing short of breathtaking, with his death-defying feats captured on YouTube for the world to see. This man had recorded jumps off the iconic Eiffel Tower, as well as another from the Patronus Towers in Kuala Lumpur. This paraglider would conquer the treacherous peaks of the Eger, Monch, and Jungfrau in a single day, a feat worth his status as a true legend in extreme sports. November 11, 2009, on this fateful day, Uli Gegenschatz took the ultimate risk, leaping from the rooftop of the Sunrise Tower in Zurich, Orlikon, 88 meters above the ground. But disaster struck as a sudden gust of wind disrupted his flight, sending him plummeting out of control. He crashed into the building's edge and hit the ground with a devastating impact, suffering severe injury. Despite his critical condition, Gegenschatz's first words were a regretful apology. I'm sorry the jump was not successful. November 13th, 2009, the YouTuber's body succumbed to the injuries, and he died just two days later.